So right now I have that half pound brisket, the brisket esquites, the smoked mac and cheese, and then the bottled Coke. Anything else for you? When I was younger, I wanted to be a professional dirt biker. And then as I got older, I realized, man, I really love cooking. Our family's love language is food and the way it brought everyone together, I was like, I really want to get into cooking. No matter what, I wanted to go to a culinary school. And at first I was sad because I really wanted to stay in town. I love my family, I love St. George, and I knew that the nearest culinary schools were either gonna be up north or in Las Vegas. Dixie Tech had actually come to my high school and told us about how they're gonna start this brand new culinary program. We actually run the best program in the entire state of Utah, and I'll put that against anyone. I was like, I gotta go there. Like, it just felt meant to be, it felt so right. That at brisket esquites is phenomenal. It is so, so good. Just set that on the edge of a spatula and just kind of blow it on the side as much as you want with that glitter. Our completion rates here are 99.8% and our job placement's 100%. You can gain a lot of experience from working in restaurants and working your way up, but I wanted to go to culinary school to just further my skills and learn more. It's just a richer, like, nuttier flavor. Our program touches on everything. Anything that you even want to learn even in a specialty trait just to go out and be a butcher or a baker after this program. Oh, when you guys are done eating, let us know and we can show you those smokers. They're okay. beautiful. We touch on all of those and give you very extensive knowledge on them. I was really worried that I didn't even have enough experience to be stepping into culinary school. Students come to the program either green to cooking itself or they have some experience and they want to hone those skills. And as they go through the program, it's interesting to see their mindset change that they can actually slow down, hone their skills, or they're learning something new and applying them in the industry. I recommend the tortillas like 110%. No matter what your experience was, they started you at the beginning at the same spot. So if we use that one, I can do them a lot from uh -huh. there across the top. This is a career. You have to be dedicated to it. It can't be looked at as a job. We had a smaller class, so we got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our chefs. You can make these elaborate as you'd like. If you really want to go back through and cut like I did up on that demo up front, we try and give them as much experience as we can, have things that we've seen in the industry, what our expectations are. So when the students leave here, it's someone that we would want to hire. To this day, if I ever have any questions, issues, I go straight up there, I sit down with the chefs, and they give just the greatest advice, and they are so good at getting you into anywhere you want to go. You got the height and a little bit of a garnish and centerpiece on there now. Looks good. And this institution puts these kids on a fast-paced track that would normally take three to five years to obtain if you didn't have that type of certificate or this institution. I feel like life is all about like being a sponge. You know, you can soak up as much information as possible, and that's what I wanted to do. So I have people calling and a list of jobs on my board in there. I just don't have enough students to fill all the places that want them. Take a tour. They'll show you the entire school. They'll show you the kitchens. You get to meet the chefs, and it will change your mind just stepping foot in that building. Well, I'll give you guys a few minutes to look and you just let us know if there's anything we can help you with. If you're thinking about it, for sure do the program. You will not regret it.